everyone, it's me, Excavensis, and finally my evil queen doll has arrived. So as of yesterday, I've officially completed the Midnight Masquerade line. My Ursula and Maleficent are at my mom's house, and Hades is currently shipped. He's gonna be on his way. Um, really, really happy with it. I only have two of them in my possession, other than this one now. Um, but I love the two that I have so much, and I can't wait to get the other three that I don't currently have. And Evil Queen was- sorry that the box is already kind of open, it's because I accidentally flashed my address. <laughs> um, but I don't honestly remember how this release went, honestly. Like, it's been a while, it's been over a week. Um, this girl took her sweet time getting here. Yzma came so fast, so this was really slow. Ursula was also really slow. Um... Yeah, I'm just, I'm really, really happy. This was actually my favorite doll from the promo pictures. Although we've learned from Tremaine that the promo pictures are kind of deceiving, but. All right, she is already out. So here we are, the evil queen. I have tried so hard not to look at any pictures of this doll, so I haven't. So this is all gonna be like first impressions. Except I did get it spoiled for me that her dress isn't burgundy. It's actually purple. And I preferred the burgundy, so I'm kind of sad about it. Like, the reason she was my favorite was because of the red. Um, but we'll see. So here she is. Oh my god, her face is so perfect. Wow. Do you see this box? Like, ugh. These dolls specifically, the their box presentation is so nice that I actually kind of feel bad taking them out of the boxes. But I don't really because... It's my thing that I paid for, and I, I prefer them out of the box. Like, they, yes, they do look good in the box, and if I had the money, I would buy them in box and out of box, because I like them both ways, but I prefer out of box things. All right. Oh, that's a strong smell. She is number 3078. Not an impressive number at all, but not that I was expecting one. She smells real strongly of uh, factory. Um, but here she is, so... My first impression is, um, oh my gosh. So I do prefer the colors from the promo pictures, but like the doll herself, oh my lord, she's so pretty. Wow. Oh, the, look at the, the top is a crown of the, all right, we're just gonna get her right out of here. I'm too excited to just sit here and, sit here and talk. <laughs> um, I, just, I miss, I know y'all like when I like talk about my experience getting the dolls and stuff, but when it's online, it's just like, I logged in and I got the doll. You know, like there's not a lot to say. Um, I do remember sitting in the waiting room. I got lucky for both this release, Yzma and Hades. I got out of the waiting room within like five minutes. I think for Yzma, I got out within, like I checked out at 10.08. For Hades, I checked out at 10.06. And I don't remember when I got to for this one. The waiting room is stupid, but I got really, really lucky. I hope that they get rid of the waiting room, or at least if Corona's over for the next release, I can just go get her in person. Because even though my Disney store is three hours away, I would much rather just go there, to be honest with you. <laughs> it's Because online, even if you do get a successful order to go through, you're still not guaranteed the doll. They could randomly cancel your order for no reason. So it's very stressful or you could completely order the doll have them charge your card three times and then not get the doll like what happened to me with ursula and luckily my mom got ursula for me after i figured out what happened so i managed to get her but like if you didn't have extra money or your mom to help you you would not get the doll and that's really ridiculous and it took them a week a whole week to refund me for ursula too it's ridiculous all right, sorry guys, getting all the tape off. I'm gonna, I don't have space to display the boxes, but I do have a safe cabinet that I'm keeping them in. I sold most of my other boxes, but these ones and the premiere ones I've kept because I really like these boxes, like this style of box. Um, I like the masquerade boxes and they're actually my mom's favorite, the original masquerade boxes, but I don't like that to display them, like where you can see the dolls, you can't have that slip cover on it. And then slip covers, this is an issue I have with books too. If you don't have the slip cover on it, it's going to get destroyed no matter what. Like, cause it's not a completely flat item. It needs to be kind of puffed up a little bit if you want to be able to put it back on the book or the doll box in this case. So like, <laughs> where are you gonna keep that? Like, no, nobody has the space for that. So I just went ahead and sold mine because I wasn't gonna ever touch them again. I'm planning with my Cricut machine to make stickers of the masks from the original line so that I can display them because I do really like the mask design on those boxes. I thought it was really cool. Um, I just prefer the way they did it here where the mask is like on the box, but you can still just like, y you know what I mean? I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> Alrighty. 
but I'm really, really stoked about this doll. Sorry, we're just tape peeling ASMR right now. All right. <laughs> She's drunk. Okay. Um, I wonder how old she's supposed to be. Because Snow White is 14, right? So, like, how old is the Evil Queen? Is she that old? Is the prince even that old? We don't know. Like, what if this girl's, like, actually, like, 25? <laughs> like, I don't know how old the prince is, so it's possible. Um, there's probably somewhere official that says her age. I can just Google it. Um, her face. Okay, so she's free. She still has a ton of plastic ties on her, though, so we need to get all those off. All right, I see that they have rubber banded this. I'm gonna be very careful when I cut the rubber band so we don't have a repeat of the Yzma situation. Because <laughs> that, that was unpleasant. It's all fixed now, but I was really scared when I first did it. I promise I'm being careful. I know it doesn't look like it. Um, So much effort put into packaging these and I'm like, thanks, <laughs> rip. All right, um, where does this tie go? Does it, oh, it's under her armpit, okay. Yeah, this one's really elaborate because they're trying to hold that neck piece on. Um, I bet Ursula's is super elaborate too. I don't watch videos from other people until after I already have my dolls because I love to see what other people think but I don't want to know what they think before I get the doll because then that's poisoning my well. Um, or it's spoiling it for me and then it won't be as fun when I finally get the doll, you know? Um, okay, so she's just wearing straight up classic black pumps. Like there's nothing going on there. Notice that, at least from the ones that I have, there's not really any interesting shoes. All right. <laughs> of course this doesn't stay up at all. I, I, maybe it's not supposed to. Maybe I cut a tie I wasn't supposed to again. I don't know. It's probably supposed to be there, but it's not. Um, I'll probably sew it to the bun. Um, alrighty, so I'm seriously impressed with this doll. So I love this snake design that we have all over this, uh, I'm gonna call it a cape, but I know it's not a cape, so don't come at me. I'm just not aware of fashion terminology. This is a really, really cool design and it's all throughout and it's got rhinestones and then the other side is just plain. And it has this um this trim that's really nice. And then the other one is, of course, exactly the same. I would be worried about these rhinestones coming off because they look to be just like ironed on, and that's not super good. Um, then we have that same material for the back of the dress and the front. For most of the dress, you have the same purple material, but you have red in the same... Mm, I don't know if these two are the same materials. I can't really tell. But you have some really impressive embroidery here. And then for this crown-like top of the... It's like a sweetheart neckline, but it has a cool tiara there, you know? You know. <laughs> um, and then we have these little... They're not snowflakes. They're not stars. Was that her mask? Okay, bye. Her mask fell. Hold on just a moment. Let me grab it. Okay. Um, I guess we'll look at her mask. It's just, I think it's the mirror that's on the wall that tells her a 14 year old is hotter than her. You know? <laughs> um, this one doesn't have the handle. It has a rubber band that you can use to put it around her head or you can use these ribbons. Um, obviously most people are not going to do that so I doubt it's going to hold very well on her but it is cute. And you could actually like sit it on her head as like a headpiece too if you wanted to. She smells so, like I don't know what what part of her is making her smell so strongly because none of the other dolls have this powerful of a smell. Um, she has painted nails, which is very nice. She has like um, purple nail polish. I don't know if any of my other ones have painted nails, except her. Yzma did. I don't think Tremaine did, but maybe she did. I'm not honestly sure. Um, anyway, her hair is just in a really nicely done updo, just a bun. And then we have this little piece that's super gelled coming down. Mine's off to the side, so I'm gonna have to try to like train it to sit here. Um, but that's a really nice piece. And the hair is really, really well put into place. And then we have this metal, delicate, it's a chain with like little 
things coming off of it for around the bun. I really like that. It makes her look really regal without just having a giant crown and it fits her character really, really well. Um, she's got earrings, which probably come out. Yeah, they do. So don't lose them. I'm going to put that right back in her ear. <laughs> Very nice though. These little red earrings with black posts. And then the, I always love that with the villain specifically, they do the eyelashes with that really long one on the end and then they get shorter as they go. Um, I don't know what about that is villainy to them, but it looks super, super pretty. Her face is amazing. Like, <laughs> oh my gosh, her makeup is so well applied and so detailed. It looks so, so good. And her really bright red lipstick just really makes her really pale face pop. Um, and she has blushing too, which helps because she kind of, if you really look in person, she has this like sickly yellow skin tone. Um, like her undertone you see that um it just it looks like they altered her skin tone i assume in the movie she was i can't recall what like her skin tone looked like in the movie i feel like she was just super pale white but they've opted for this kind of pallor to but then they've blushed it enough that it doesn't make her, it's not obvious it i don't know I, it's very subtle i think once i put her next to snow white we'll really be able to tell and then we've got this, these sleeves, which are attached to the dress, and they're really, really well sewn. Actually, they're like super well fitted and really, really pretty. Um, very delicate, and they're super soft material too. Like I would love to wear a shirt made out of this. <laughs> and then there's these chains that are attached to this piece and nothing else. And I guess those are how it's supposed to be on her. It's just supposed to kind of sit. Um, so if you do just leave her on display, you wouldn't have to tie it anywhere, but I'm just going to tie it so I can take pictures and over time it doesn't do this because it looks much better like that, of course. Um, but yeah, she's really, really, really pretty. I'm really happy with her. Um, I do still wish that her coloring was more of that burgundy because I thought, come here, mama. My daughter. Come here, princess. She ran off. Um, I do wish that we still had that, um, uh, more red burgundy type tone. Oh, there's black. Oh, it's a gradient. I didn't even notice that. Look. How cool. <laughs> Sorry. I do um, wish that they had kept that more burgundy color or that there was a variant, like half of them were purple and half of them were burgundy or something, because I would much prefer to have the burgundy one. Um, but this is still really pretty and I still really like her. I just think the color scheme made more sense when it was burgundy, but I see that they were probably just going for the traditional evil queen color scheme, which is the red and purple. So it works and it still looks really really good like I'm not dragging the doll at all I think it's fantastic but if the original design was that burgundy I much prefer it I think it looks a lot better um but yeah there's my new evil queen doll Snow White is not going to be happy to see this 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 mama not her mama but this mama <laughs> um yeah thank you guys so so much for watching oh let me show you the mask on her face I didn't do that for any of the other ones but I don't want to wrap the rubber band around because it's gonna like mess up the hair maybe but I'm gonna try I'm trying I'm just I really don't want to hurt it okay oh it actually is impressive how well it stays on so she's with the mask on so like yeah she's gonna crash the party looking like this no one can tell who she is I, just, I love these masks they're so cool I'm not gonna display her like that because I really don't like masquerade masks, but that's it's really cute. Um, yeah, that's it. Thank you guys so so much for watching, and let me know what you think of this doll. And um, I guess the entire line. I know we haven't seen Hades in person yet, and if you're just watching my channel, I haven't shown you three of them. Um, but my favorite so far, I think it's still Tremaine. Like I really. I don't know, she just really blew me away. I did not expect to like her at all. Um, but I, that doesn't mean I don't absolutely love this doll, I do. I think she's superb and like, I don't know. They're all so cool. I just, I really need to have them all and really sit with them to figure out who my favorite is. But I was just overly impressed with how well designed and detailed and executed the Tremaine doll was, especially because I don't really like the Tremaine art as much and I don't really like the Tremaine uh, stock photos as much but she just absolutely blew me away um, but I still don't have Maleficent or um, 
Ursula yet, so, or I have them. Ursula, Maleficent, and Hades are not with me yet, so maybe Hades will be the first boy doll that I don't hate. We'll see. <laughs> no, I know I like him, but, so I know he's going to be. Because Hades is, like, one of my favorite characters in general. I think he's so fun. <laughs> James Woods. But, like, that character is so cool, and I, I love Hercules. It's one of my favorite movies, and I'm sure my brother's gonna love that doll, too. Um, he's not a doll person, obviously, but, um, yeah. Thank you so, so much for watching for all this time. Bye.